My name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video series, I am addressing some of the frequently asked questions I get about the elements of math. Now, the two problems I'm going to share in this video are very simple, and I could stack them, I could add them using the standard algorithm, I could easily punch them in my calculator. But let's talk about how we would help students to calculate these in their head, right? And so this is where we want to engage the brain. We want them to be able to think, progress towards being able to mentally make some calculations. All students are going to take a little bit different amount of time to feel comfortable and confident with this. So please give them the time, but walk them through the process. So let's look at six and seven tenths plus eight and four tenths. I really like to get students to break this apart into their standard forms mentally. You may want to have them write it out initially so that they can visually see it. Then they begin to see it in their mind. Then, of course, I want the um, whole numbers to be added together, and then I want the tenths to be added together. I'm writing it out, but this is what I'm coaching students to be able to do in their head. And like I said, you might want them to write it out first um, and then process mentally. But this is what I want them to start to see in their brain as they pull these apart, reorganize to make the addition a lot simpler as they go along. I will caution you, when you're working with students on these, be sure and write them horizontal. Once you stack them, students are automatically thinking standard algorithm if they've been introduced to that concept. Let's take a look at number two, though, because the borrowing gets a lot of students when we have to do it mentally. Again, I like them to break it apart. So I've got seven plus 0.3, and then I've got minus. Now be really careful because it's minus 3 minus 0.6. Ooh, a lot of students want to put a plus there. So I caution you against that. Again, reorganize. Show the students how to reorganize in their brain. This is a problem, right? This is a problem to be able to um, subtract 0.6 from 0.3. We need to point that out as a problem because a lot of students will go ahead and subtract that and get 0.3. So 7 minus 3 gives us 4. That's fine. Now here's our problem. What I want students to do is to do the subtraction first. So I might rewrite this and do the 4 minus 0 0.6 first. Generally, students can show you that that's going to be 3.4, right? Talk to them about taking 6 tenths away from one of the holes. So you've got three holes left. And if you take 6 tenths away from the three holes, you're going to get the 3.4 or the 3 and 4 tenths then walk them through adding that 0.3, and that gives us 3.7. The mental math is we really have to coach students on how to do what we're visually breaking apart here in their head. But I, it's going to help your student become more confident with their computation skills and not tied to their calculator. 